it's Sunday, and I uh, thought I would do a little rant on opinions. So I was scrolling through Facebook, just doing the usual CEO scan. <laughs> Had a good day so far. Nice little walk. Took one of the dogs out. Walked with the wife. We went to a movie. Had a little brunch with the kids. And they're out doing their own thing now. And so I'm just kind of catching up and planning the work. And I noticed a three-star review for Tony Blower and the Sphere System on Facebook. And I'm like, three-star review? I don't really kind of track these things, but it just popped out at me. So I looked at it, and it's this guy from overseas, three stars. And uh, so we did a search for his name and info about him. He's never purchased anything. He's never asked a question. He's never commented. He just gave me three stars. So uh, what I did was I scanned his profile. I'm going, wow, that's weird. And I noticed he's what we call the category one martial artist. That's the hardcore traditional martial artist. You can tell by you know his photos. And I got nothing against that. But I tend to turn those guys off because they misunderstand the message. It's like it's like car manufacturers would get mad at me for suggesting maybe they put a um, airbag in their car and they're mad at me. You know. So, anyways, uh, go watch my uh, airbag video if you haven't seen that if you don't understand what I mean anyways uh so I'm wondering why three stars why not zero and I mean the real question here and this is the really point of this little rant is uh, why do some people think that their opinion matters so much better yet why do some people think they can or should form an opinion without an experience and uh a while back I wrote a a note in Facebook as well, where a lot of people were criticizing our relationship with CrossFit, not recognizing at all that I've been teaching for three decades, that I spent two years, you know, teaching at boxes and working with the athletes and trying to reverse engineer a system that made sense for the CrossFit community. And uh, I uh, came across an article, this is like from 2016, like one of the quotes, I find it hard to believe that anything taught would be particularly effective. And all of these people are like either jujitsu or MMA or, and I just don't get it. Uh, you know, I'm baffled by statements like that because, uh, you know, uh, he starts off this guy and particularly starts off his article saying, let me preface this article by stating that I've never taken the, uh, cross the defense class. So this isn't a review, but in, in his article writes, I find it hard to believe that anything taught. This is the unconscious bias, folks. And the other day I posted a meme about the unconscious bias. And I'm just going to read it to you quick here because I want you all to think about this because it applies to all of us. And basically the message here is if you don't have a direct experience with something, you don't get to have an opinion about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So here's what I wrote. The problem with unconscious bias is that it's unconscious. Many people attack or reject ideas they don't understand if it doesn't resonate with their worldview. This could be their style, their business, their you know uh, formal education, their martial art, whatever. This is also called cognitive bias. Oftentimes judgments are made without first-hand experience and therefore direct knowledge. This isn't professional or responsible. I've shared this next idea many times, and I'll share it again as gently and respectfully as possible. It goes like this. Because you can't do it doesn't mean someone else can't do it. In reality, the detached, critical, and conscious thinker does not impose their limitations on another person, especially when there's, a, when there's clear evidence and success to the contrary of the original bias. Facts are direct and blunt. History is direct and blunt. Efficacy is also direct and blunt. And one of my favorite quotes that I always share, the wonderful thing about bluntness is that it gauges the strong and intimidates the weak. And so sometimes just writing and stating the facts really polarizes and it creates this, this, this immediate reaction from people. And you can see where, where their head's at, where their mind's at. And all of this, just to sum up, and I wrote this this note a couple of years ago, actually three, almost three years ago, and the title of it, Sorry Your Opinion Doesn't Matter. Go look it up on Facebook, give it a read, drop a comment in there. You guys have a great Sunday. Take care.
The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.